Hey everybody, it's Florida Garnista here today. We're talking about propagation. Why am I so excited? Well, it's a cheap and easy way to grow your garden. So we're gonna talk about a few simple steps on how to use cuttings to grow and expand your garden through propagation. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the supplies that you need to propagate. So obviously you're gonna need a plant. I personally love this coleus. Look at this beautiful, uh, variegation in the leaves. This is also one that I've had really good success propagating before. You're going to need a pair of shears. Excuse the rust, but these guys are clean. And then you're going to need some water, and I also like to add some liquid seaweed. Um, as you can see, you don't need a fancy container. I'm recycling from my favorite salsa. And um, also, you know, you can, you don't have to use that. You can use something smaller as far as, um, making sure that the stems are nice and wet before you plant them. And then I use little popsicle sticks that are labeled so that I can kind of monitor how well my propagation babies are doing. And then you're going to need obviously some smaller containers. And if you notice, the soil in these containers, it's not dry, it's wet. So you don't want it to be like soaking, soaking wet, but you want to make sure that there's enough moisture that your plant babies do well. So we're going to start off with taking a cutting. Um, I love this arrangement that I did. Um, so I'm not going to cut off something in the front and center. I'm going to kind of go around here and find something in the back that I can cut. Specifically, hopefully, something smaller like this plant baby right here. And I'm going to cut at an angle. The stem, for some reason, it just seems to actually really make a difference in the success rate. And I'm looking around for some other small babies. Okay, this I think will be fine. So then I'm going to take all but two of the leaves off of the stem. This is so the energy of the plant goes to the um, foliage as well as to the stem at the base of the root. And then I'm going to pour some of my liquid seaweed concoction into my small container. And I also, I, I actually save all my cuttings pretty much so that uh, I can add them to my compost pile. More organic matter is better. So I'm going to soak this guy for about 15 minutes. We're not going to wait around for 15 minutes. We're going to say that 15 minutes has uh, come and gone and this guy's been soaking in that solution. And so getting out my pot with my damp soil. Oh, and I forgot one thing. I actually like to use uh, chopsticks to help me with my propagation as well as my seedlings. I just find it really helps me uh, create those smaller holes that are really ideal for this type of project. So I'm gonna take this guy, place him in there. Now not too deep and not too shallow. So I'm actually gonna pinch this guy. Make sure you get all your air pockets out. We're gonna label him and voila, you're done. So I would say probably in the next two to three weeks, this guy should be growing. If you see these guys that I um, actually propagated the leaves from cuttings, also the variegated colas that I love. And that was about 15 days ago. And like I said, I cut off all but two of the leaves and these guys are already loving life. So there you have it. Happy propagating. Make sure you comment and send me your photos of your success and uh, look forward to seeing you on for our next project next time.